In this video, we're going to show you to install the cam position sensor on your Nissan Frontier, located on the passenger side rear of the engine. With the hood open, we're going to use a 10 millimeter wrench to get to loosen this nut and disconnect the ground terminal off of our battery. Go ahead and wiggle that off and just tuck that aside. On the back side of the engine here, just below the valve cover, the sensor right here, the passenger side camshaft sensor is located on the back side. Had my finger on it. There's a gray connector on it. And on the back side of it is a 10 millimeter bolt. Now I'm reaching, I'm over the top of the engine. My right arm is running along the back side of the intake and coming around to the back side of the passenger area here. Now I have an open end 10 millimeter wrench. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this bolt. Now once that bolt is loose, chance I can grab it with your fingers and just kind of spin that out. Now the electrical connector is still attached to it. It's going to be easier to disconnect that electrical connector with the sensor out of the engine. And that's how we're going to tackle it. Go ahead and remove that bolt. Set that aside. Now there's a wiring harness right beside the sensor itself. And if you follow that wiring harness down just a tiny bit on the driver's side of that harness, you're going to come across a 12 millimeter bolt. Now this 12 millimeter bolt secures this harness to the back side of the engine. We're using our quarter inch ratchet and 12 millimeter socket to go ahead and loosen this bolt and remove it. Once we remove that bolt, we should be able to pull that harness out of the way a little bit. and allow us to grab that sensor and pull it out of the engine. And there we have it. At this point, you just need to finagle that sensor with that harness up and out so you can gain access to it and remove that connector. Now, in order to remove the sensor from the connector, there is a gray portion of this connector we need to push in and it's spring loaded so I'm going to reach down it's a two hand job I'm going to reach down push in and it's actually going to lock and that's going to allow you to go ahead and remove the sensor from the connector now I'm going to use my pliers because our connector is a little bit stuck a little bit of pressure on the lock tab and then that'll push in and then that sensor should walk right out there it is go ahead and pull that sensor out and there you have it and before installing I took a little bit of engine oil here on my finger and I'm gonna rub it on the o-ring it's gonna help this o-ring slide into the engine a little bit easier now I'm gonna reach the sensor down and around and connect it to the wiring harness. And once you line that up and push that sensor on, once you push that on far enough, that clip that we released in order to release the sensor will actually auto lock. It'll pop back into place securing that sensor. Now, once this lines up, you should be able to hear it click into place. Once you push that sensor into it. Now, what we want to do is feed that sensor back into the engine. And then once that's seated, we'll put that 10 millimeter bolt back in. There it is. Now, you can spin that sensor around. And we're going to feed the 10 millimeter bolt 
you to into the sensor there and get that started. You want to make sure that's good and snug. It doesn't have to be super tight because the sensor itself has a metal sleeve there to secure that. So snug it in. And then once you have that all set, we need to resecure that wiring harness back to the back side of the engine. Grab that 12 millimeter bolt. I'm going to put it through the eyelet for the tab here. Thread that back into the engine. And then we'll put our quarter inch ratchet down inside there and we'll tighten that down. Now once you're done with this here and you snug this down, you want to go ahead and reconnect the battery. And then you want to clear any codes that you have on the dash using the scan tool. And then go ahead and take the vehicle for a test ride. At that point there, you're all set. Install the ground terminal and tighten down the nut here. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.